the blackened shell in which 41 people spent their final minutes. On Monday, investigators worked through the wreckage. The investigative committee has recovered 41 bodies. The State Commission and the Crisis Centre are working with relatives of the deceased. On behalf of the State Commission and myself, I would like to offer my condolences to the families of the victims and to those injured in this disaster. Shortly after takeoff, something went wrong, leading to this emergency landing. The jet bouncing off the runway and exploding in a ball of flames. One passenger filmed from inside the plane, even as his life hung in the balance. Russia's state investigators are trying to determine if weather played a role or if human error is to blame. The investigation is pursuing several lines of inquiry, among them whether the pilots, air traffic controllers and plane inspectors were sufficiently qualified, aircraft malfunctions and adverse weather conditions. But whatever the findings of the investigative committee, this crash will yet again raise questions about Russia's domestic carriers and whether or not they're doing enough to protect lives. The domestically made Suhoi Superjet 100 aircraft was launched in 2011, but the 45 people on board died when its demonstration flight crash-landed a year later. Even so, Russia's national carrier Aeroflot has bought more of the planes, and the government says they're safe. But Sunday's crash is the latest in a long line of domestic aviation disasters. And once again, Russians will be asking, how did it come to this? Julia Chapman, TRT World. Moscow.